So it looks like the Dacia Spring Challenge is a little bit harder than people expected, which I, I definitely thought would happen, but uh, not as much as this. All right, big plays. <laughs> big plays, he says. <laughs> oh, that was good. So with this challenge taking some notable players over two hours to complete, I thought I would show you guys some tips that I could give you to hopefully make the runs a little bit quicker and uh, hopefully make some levels make a little more sense. So let's jump into the game see how it goes hopefully you can learn a thing or two and uh, hopefully you can see some levels you haven't seen before all right so here we are in the dashia spring electric challenge uh obviously if you watch my video you'll see all these how to play things uh make sure you disable the ambulance inclusion it's definitely helpful to make sure nothing's flickering in the map uh because the map is so huge it just does that um, but this is why I wanted to mention this. There's 2,000 euros uh, of a prize pool. Um, I want to make sure everyone has a fair chance at, at making the prize pool. So I do want to show the levels uh, in 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 uh, in order here and kind of describe um, how to go through the levels and how to approach them. Because of expert, we have a lot of uh, boost management issues going on. Um, so you really need to make sure that you use your boost properly. Um, this map definitely punishes you if you use. Uh, boost at supersonic when you don't need to be and also just using too much boost for an area when you could be using less So I'm gonna be going through every level and basically just describing, you know, how I would approach it um, Starting off at this level um, Kind of want to use your double jump to basically ma mostly make that first ring uh, That way you can use the rest of the boost to uh, get to the next level. I'll go through the level once again Just to show you a different approach um, Basically, I want to be able to have about 20 boost for that turn and then I'll have a lot left over as you can see this level, I don't really want to use any boost on this first one, this first jump, because on the next one, I usually use a, use a bit of boost like that to adjust my my flip. And I'll do that again, because a lot of, I see a lot of players using their boost like this, but then that's an awkward distance to make that jump, as you can see. You, you kind of want to uh, keep a low flip like this, and then use your boost to grab the platform. It's definitely a lot better, and then you'll have a lot more boost at the end to uh, reach the platform. Another thing to notice too, or to note, is that if you want to make this um, this final platform, the important thing is to uh, see, how, see how I didn't make it that jump there. You want to make sure that you have um, a good amount of height. And the best way to do that is to actually boost before you flip like this and see, see how much more height you get. Um, boosting up and then flipping um, is definitely more important because once you flip, you can no longer gain height without wasting a lot of boosts. And uh, I would highly suggest that what you do is you use the boost to get that height um, and use those little bits of boost to finish off your adjustment after you flip. So I'll do one more jump here, um, showing that little adjustment that I use with the boost and then flipping forward after I get the uh, the boost upwards. And we're on to level three, which combines a bit of level two or level one and level two. Um, once again, you wanna make sure you save some boost right here. Once you get this arc, you can kind of just float here and then hover. And you wanna make sure you kind of cushion that fall. And you can see I still have some boost left over. Same approach here, use a little bit of boost after the flip boost up to uh, flip to this one and then boost up and flip and you can see I still have lots of boost left over after I do that um, but the most important thing once again is to keep the momentum going because it's always going to be harder to to boost um, and recover if you've already kept up your speed so right here you don't want to fall too fast so instead I boost a little bit to slow it down and you're not falling too fast um, and here you just use a little bit of boost after the flip once again boost upwards and there we go so you don't even need to use any boost here because I have so much speed um, moving on to level four is the first speed one you want to use that diagonal flip uh, to make sure you keep your speed up. Um, you only want to use boost when you need to recover um, your speed on the ramps and stuff. Or or obviously fly. Um, here you can see I can turn pretty fast here. I might not make this one because of that wide turn. Uh, I still made it. I'll go back to that level just to describe um, what, I was, what I was doing there. Um, basically, I'm already supersonic right here, so I don't need to boost. The second I'm flying, I need to boost again. And then this ramp right here loses the most speed out of the whole challenge or the whole level. And the way you land on here, you want to make sure you land pretty smooth so you can do that quick turn. Um, that's the, probably the most important part of that level. Um, it definitely takes a lot of time. I saw a lot of people struggle with that one. But the most important thing is just to make sure that you, you're using the boost when you need to, not when you are in the air already at supersonic speed. The nice thing about Rocket League is there isn't really air resistance in the air. So you can just kind of let yourself drift in the air. And that's going to be really important later on in the later levels, not to uh, waste uh, boost in the air. But let's, let's reset here. Once again, same same idea as the first level, where you want to make sure you don't use too much boost in that first part. 
And you really want to make sure you have enough boost to flip all or, or keep the boost going. Um, it's all about really managing your uh, speed going upwards here. You kind of want to have a continuous uh, pace upwards. And it, the most important part right here is that turn. Because um, you can see that you'll, you'll end up not being able to make this ring. And that's probably where people are going to be struggling. Uh, getting that next ring right there. Um, but once you get there, you'll have enough boost to flip to the, or fly to the next one. Um, so make sure you don't waste too much boost here. You don't want to like hold it down because you can see now I have nothing and I won't be able to make oh, I won't be able to make this one like this. That's what I see a lot of people doing is they'll hold the boost down. But feathering is super important for keeping those long flights. Um, even if I hold it right here, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Um, so you have to make sure you, you feather that whole way. And there we go. It's pretty forgiving at the end there with the boost. You have a lot to the end. I try not to use any boost here on this first flip or here. And then once again, we have that same strategy here where we have some adjustment uh, room. There you go. Boost up a little bit. And then here you want to boost up again and then flip. It's a pretty self-explanatory level um, using all the information you've gained from the earlier level. So I'll just move on. Um, you get 20 boost here. This level used to look a lot different in its early days. There used to be rings involved. Um, but now there's just walls. And you kind of want to use about uh, 10 boost on each, on each wall. I see a lot of people jumping off the wall first, then boosting. Highly suggest that you use your, your boost first. Like this. I used a little bit too much there, but five should be enough to make it up here. Almost. I'd say you probably need at least eight per wall, but I held it down a little bit too long. So you get a little bit of a run up here and kind of hold down the boost and then jump. I used a little bit too much again. That's okay though. I should be able to make it. There we go. And then flip up to this one. You can also just drive off. Once again, don't want to use any boost on this first flip if I can, but I'm going to have to here because of the way that I was flipping. Um, if you did my poo... Uh, uh, bo uh, ah, I didn't flip because I was talking. I said boost. If, if you did my no boost parkour map um, on the Egyptian parkour, um, a lot of these skills will transfer over to this map because uh, it's all about like low boost and you know efficient jumping and stuff. So you, you'll get used to these timings of like flips and how high you need to jump. But um, as you can see here, um, you don't need to use any boost and then you can use some boost to adjust at the end here. But um, it's definitely important to just Consider the, the difference in timing between your jumps because like I can jump as low as this or as high as this and holding your jump depending on how long you want to jump uh, for and how far you need to go is just just getting used to the timings. Um, definitely an interesting level. I like that it's low boost and you have to like manage your jumps like that. Um, but then we have the next time level here which definitely held up a lot of people. Um, once again diagonal flips are super important. Uh, on that that wall there holding your, your, your drift is definitely helpful. Um, once again, the same same trick here, where you want to you want to boost upwards to get a, a further height. And this this is a tricky part here. Um, that's that's the part that people will struggle with too, is those rings at the end. Um, you want to make sure that you um, stay supersonic on these time levels pretty much the entire time. You have a bit of wiggle room because obviously you need you need to have a little bit of wiggle room, but um, staying supersonic is super important. But in order to get this part, you have to pull back a little bit around this one ring and then go forward. I'm not going to make it this time because I, I slowed down earlier, but um, super, super important that you uh, keep that supersonic the whole time and and make sure you uh, get a efficient jumps off these walls to make sure you uh, don't waste any time here. I flip forward here. Wait for the rings. Boost forward as much as I can. Pull back and then go forward. So we should make it that time. Had a pretty good feeling. I, I'm obviously going to skip uh, the portal <laughs> because once you go to the portal, once you can't go back, it just skips to the next level. Um, but we'll go on to this level. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Just drive to this, and then usually what I do is I jump right here and then flip. That should get enough speed to go to the next platform. One of the easiest levels in the in the entire training, in my opinion. Uh, here you can actually not use any boost if you want to. I wouldn't suggest that it actually makes it a little harder. But you can do it, as you can see here. Um, you can use a bit of boost to adjust. But what I usually prefer to do is just fully boost, get a lot of speed, keep the jumps very low, and then you can basically jump from platform to platform. Uh, that's probably my favorite way to do it. This level has a few ways that you can approach it. Um, I will show the normal way first and then describe some speedrun strats. If you were curious, I'm sure some people are. Um, right here, you want to side flip back to the platform. That's the one of the things that tripped up a few people I watched. Um, you don't need to use any boost up until this part. And you can use like upwards of like, or as low as like eight boost. Um, you want to basically navigate these, these corners like this, um, without any boost and then jump to this platform. Once it makes it here, just a bit of timing. 
And then I have lots of boost to work with here. I didn't need to use any at the end here, but uh, I want to go back and show something you could do if you do save your boosts and you want to go a little faster or also skip the part that annoyed a few people, which was that uh, slalom part. If you save up a lot of boosts, um, what you can do instead is uh, actually skip the slaloms right to that floating platform. I'm going to use a bit of boost here. I still have 13. That should be enough. I only need to use about 5 to get to this platform. So I'm going to go like this. Boost up like this. Across. And then over to the end here. And once again, I use a little bit of upwards boost to make it to that platform. So definitely a little more of a trickier way to do it. But definitely still helpful to learn. We have another speed level here. Really important that you only use boost when you're recovering from turns or from uh, from ramps. So you can see when I'm doing those turns, I am boosting a little bit. That's because as you turn, you will slow slow down. Um, and then once again, you don't really need to use too many jumps because or too many flips. And boost on those curves like that. Any turns, I basically boost a little bit. You can skip that cube if you make the jump properly. To land on here and then flip right to the end. So not too bad um, if you know the tricks. I'll go back to that level again. The biggest thing that I see people wasting boost is like here they'll boost and then they'll have nothing left. Um, they also don't corner flip, which doesn't let them get to supersonic. Um, it's important to get to that speed. Also, boost down on these instead of uh, some people. Some people I saw do a strategy like this. I would not suggest it because it definitely slows you down. Is that they were doing this, which I can't even do properly because it's such a tight spot. But definitely just boost down. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, and at the end there, you do need to make that platform. Just time your flip with uh, your speed. Um, as you saw there, I waited a little longer because the platform was a little further. But depending on the angle that you take, you will have to change your approach. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'll go to the next level. And uh, I, I really like this one. It's definitely interesting. I, I find that this jump to this platform is a little harder than just flying to the next one if you get that proper angle upwards. Um, but definitely give it a try either way. Let's move on to level 13. So on this one, a big mistake is that people boost before they get to the ramp. I would I would not suggest doing that. You can boost at the very end here. But you kind of want to just like drift. You actually get a lot of boost here and then flip once you reach this ring. I basically have 100, so it's pretty comfortable to just fly through here and, and, and feather. You even boost like really far up. But the biggest thing is just to make sure you conserve boost. Just use a little bit like this and you can just kind of angle yourself. Do a corner flip. The corner flip gets you in the direction you want to go. And then you just kind of boost the whole way back to the uh, to the platform here. Not too bad. Level 14 was a little harder version of that. So you want to boost up to this. And then you want to make sure you fly up in the way of the ring above like this. And then use your corner flip to go through that ring. Collect the boost pad behind. And then you have lots to use. Make sure you feather here. Because you want to make sure that you, uh, you have enough boost to once again do an adjustment to this platform. Uh, you see how I jumped early or flipped early? Definitely easier to flip at the highest point of the ring rather than the lowest. Uh, that way you get as much height as possible and you have more time to drift down to the floor. Um, I can show the other way. It's a little harder, but it's still it's still doable. So I see I'm supersonic. I don't want to waste anymore. I'm already going the, the fastest I can go. Um, there's no reason for me to, to, to keep boosting. So here I'll do this. You see I'm wasting a lot more boost to uh, go down here, but I can still make it. You can see you lose a lot more speed. It's a lot harder, but I still make it. It's not too bad. Move on to level 15. This one tripped up a lot of people from what I could see. I was watching a lot of streams and people were struggling with this one. Um, I like to save the boost if I can till the very end. Front flip here is much easier than a double jump. And you want to land smoothly on the bottom part of that ramp to get a clean, a clean catch. I jumped a little bit high here, but I should be okay. You see, I have 10 boosts at the end here, and now I can use the 10 boosts to basically uh, boost up if I need to. I still have my flip as well. So if I needed to level out, I could do that as well. This one is one of the hardest levels in the map, which is why I showed it in the intro uh, video. I wanted to show people how to do it. Definitely don't uh, single jump all those. You want to double jump over the second part and don't flip on these at all. I would not jump. I would not flip at these at all. You won't make the end if you do. Uh, you do lose a bit of speed um, forwards. You just want to keep, keep your angles really, 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 really short. And this part's really hard. You want to make sure you hold on to uh, your drift the whole time uh, while you jump those. It's definitely, definitely very important to keep your speed there and not lose anything when you grip the walls. So you want to hold your drift while you uh, catch the walls like that. But that's that level. It's um, definitely a little bit crazier of a level. I, I don't want to show it too much because you're going to learn a lot of your own strategies. Um, but that's the biggest thing. Like if you, if you single jump these, 
it's gonna be way too hard because then you have, you have to like do something like this and you lose speed right there like i'm already at the back of the platforms so i would highly suggest doing a single jump early and time your jump to land in between the middles and then you can do a double jump through the uh the gate here so pretty interesting level it's really really well made jedek did a really good job with all the levels i didn't build any of these so i just had to play them for myself once the map was built um definitely fun learning them i didn't find it too too hard to pick up the concepts because like i said the levels kind of build upon themselves as you go through them um which is really nice they they introduce new new uh problems every time this level if you just hold right trigger you'll actually just go through all of this uh and then you just kind of hold right tr tr right trigger the whole time and flip and you'll make it through the, the bottom here and i know i made it sound a lot easier than it is because i know it's hard but if you just hold the trigger the whole time and just time your double jumps and your flip here I went a little bit high but same thing you just basically just time your uh time your flip with that platform you should be okay and there we go so that level's not too bad for the, the final final zone this one's also not too bad until the end that final gap with the lasers but we'll uh we'll get there in a second so you want to angle your boost there and then i usually try to hold on to at least 10 here because it's nice to have extra for that last jump right there i didn't flip in time on the right time there but um i like to have extra for that final jump so if you can manage it i would aim to at least have 50 or 60 boost on that pickup right there uh that way you can have like around 10 to 20. I have extras go between and now i have a flip and i have extra boost to get the extra speed we'll go to level 19. this one is one of the hardest levels for people who can't do low low boost uh low boost low boost management low boost management once again if you've played my parkour map you will be comfortable more comfortable with this than most people um it's definitely a, a tricky level but it's not too hard if you just know uh, a few tricks that you can have up your sleeve number one if you hold right trigger in the air or left trigger in the air you will actually move you can see i'm moving so it's important to know that you can kind of slow your roll a little bit or increase your speed if you're holding the trigger down. Now, I know a lot of people already hold the trigger a lot of the time, but this map's going to require you to not do that. Um, as you can see, you're just going to have to time a few things here. You can use your double pop here to pop to this next platform. It's kind of nice on your way down to just use the double pops to fall to the platforms instead of working too hard. And here's just a bit of a timing thing. You kind of want to be jumping off the platform when the top hits. So you kind of want to start up before that. So I'm going to start like this and then flip. There we go and then we just want to make that final jump once again it's easier if it's at the bottom so we want to wait for it to be near the top i'm not timing it right right here there we go and there's the finish just a timing thing this level requires a lot of precision and some people would argue that this level is easier than level 16 which i would agree uh it's definitely not requiring as many uh individual skills uh, i messed this up but you need to uh wave dash on these walls if you can uh that'll actually like age you in your time later uh to get to that final platform the biggest thing i would say is i like to forward do dodge or diagonal dodge underneath that glass because your dodging forward actually keeps your supersonic speed up again without using boost like that use a little bit of boost to stabilize myself you can see here i want to wave dash on these walls that way i can stay with it it should be okay i still have my speed and these are just simple single jumps holding it down is definitely helpful too boost boosting a little bit there to get to that that platform and you want to just feather here because you're already going as long as you can see those streaks in the air you're going supersonic which is pretty much at the speed you need to go and you want to boost forward here not not down as you can see we're going to get there to the platform don't get tricked up by this this last one please <laughs> i know people are gonna get really 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 uh really mad if they make it here and then they hit that last that laser but that is really just there to mess with you uh the reason why there's no frame splits is because i skip back back and forth between levels to show you guys some of the tricks but i hope you guys can use some of what i what i did there and at least uh learn something about the approaches i'm taking on these levels to hopefully make your run a little bit cleaner um that was a lot of fun to show the levels in that way um expect a speed run of my of my own in the future and also i do have a few other game modes for this map uh planned like a low boost percentage on expert mode which basically is going to be like a combination of 
how much boost you have at the end of every level. So that'll be a lot of fun to see what the maximum you can do, uh, maximum boost you can collect at the end. Um, but until next time, have a great day, guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and good luck with the speed run. <laughs>